Hello everyone, I'm Professor Lee of Dr. Wild Love TV. Many people have a misunderstanding about immunity. A healthy immunity does not necessarily mean a strong one. It means that the immune system operates normally by operating properly when it needs to work and suppressing the immune response when it is too strong. Do you know the three most important methods that have been clinically proven to activate degrees the immune system and control the excessive immune response? By the way, these three methods are most essential methods for maintaining a healthy immune system, and none of them should be left out. What you do every day to live is breathing, sleeping, eating, and moving. Excluding breathing, which is done regardless of will, the three things that are different for each person depending on willpower are sleeping, eating, and moving. These three things, if you sleep well, eat well, and move well, your immune system will be healthy, and if you don't, your immune system will be damaged. No matter what expensive drug or herb you buy and take that is clinically effective, it will be useless if your sleep, food, and physical activity are all messed up. You will know this, but it's so important that I'll summarize it briefly. Let's get started. According to a large-scale epidemiological study, People who sleep less than 6 hours a day have a weakened immune system and are 4 times more likely to be infected with the virus than those who sleep more than 7 hours. According to a study on the immune function of a patient with insomnia, the function of NK cell and T cell among immune cells are reduced. Not only is immunity reduced, but the secretion of inflammatory substances increase. Stress hormone increase and existing disease also worsen. You should always make sure to maintain 7 to 9 hours of sleep a day. People who do not consume enough fresh vegetables and fruits are prone to respiratory and digestive infections. If they do not consume enough high quality protein, antibody formation and immune function decreases, and excessive sugar consumption increases chronic inflammation. Obesity increases T cell and macrophage functions and increases chronic inflammation. If they do not consume enough vitamin D, their immunity decreases, and they are especially prone to respiratory infections. If they consume too much instant food and too little fiber, their intestinal function deteriorates and their immunity decreases. Therefore, you should consistently consume vitamin A, C, D, E, zinc, and lactic acid bacteria every day through a balanced diet to keep your immunity healthy. One. Among vegetables, green leafy vegetables, two, fruit, especially citrus fruit rich in vitamin C, three, nuts rich in zinc, fermented food rich in lactic acid bacteria, four, always consume high quality protein. People who do not exercise have increased inflammatory substances in their body and decreased immune function. Exercising too much is also not good. If you exercise at high intensity for several hours, your immune system will be temporarily suppressed for several hours to three days, immune cell function will decrease and stress hormone will increase, putting your body in a state of chronic inflammation. Therefore, it's recommended to exercise at an intensity that makes you slightly out of breath and for less than an hour, about five times a week. Also, when you are not in good condition, you should not exercise and should do so after your body has recovered. In addition to the above three lifestyle habits, it would be even better if you added two more, stress management and drinking enough water. Chronic stress is one of the main causes of decreased immunity. Meditation is the most studied method proven to increase immunity. The lymphatic system, which carries immune cells throughout the body, must be supplied with sufficient water to function properly. If there is a lack of water, immune cell activity decreases, and defense of the respiratory and digestive mucus are decreased, and antibody production also decreases. It's recommended to drink about 2 liters of water per day for adults. It's also recommended to drink at least 500 cc of water during exercise that causes sweating. 
Lastly, I'll tell you about the top 5 foods that are clinically proven to maintain a healthy immune system. The first is garlic. 1. In 120 adult ages 21 to 50, after taking garlic extract during the cold and flu season, gamma delta T cells, a type of T cell, and NK cells proliferated and their activity increased after one month and a half. The severity of cold and flu symptoms also decreased. 2. In 51 of these adults, after taking it for 6 weeks, the distribution of immune cells was regulated and the concentration of inflammatory substances were significantly reduced. 3. When 17 adults took low garlic for 10 days, genes that activate cancer cell deaths and suppress proliferation were activated. 4. In 55 patients with advanced cancer, compared to the control group, both the number of NK cell and NK cell activity significantly increased only in patients who took garlic extract. In summary, regular consumption of garlic enhanced decreased immunity and maintains a healthy immunity. The second is ginger. 1. When ginger extract was administered to 40 patients with allergic rhinitis for 3 weeks, the improvement effect was almost the same as the rhinitis prescription drug. 2. In 41 papers on sepsis patients, the effect of improving symptoms by controlling excessively immune response was reported. 3. When 70 patients with rheumatoid arthritis took 1,000 mg of ginger powder per day for 4 months, their arthritis improved due to the effect of controlling the balance of excessively immune response. In summary, ginger is a very good food for people with autoimmune disease because it has the effect of maintaining healthy immunity by controlling excessively increased immune response. The third is turmeric. 1. In 94 healthy adults who took turmeric for 3 months, the number of days of cold symptoms significantly decreased. 2. In 6 clinical studies targeting COVID-19 patients, all symptoms, hospitalization period, and mortality rate decreased. It also improved the indicator of cytokine storm induction, a fatal complication of COVID-19. 3. It had an influence effect in various intractable skin diseases such as psoriasis, chronic fluoritis, and oral right hand planus due to its immunomodulatory reaction. 4. In certain patients with D osteoarthritis, arthritis improved due to its T cell modulatory action. 5. It had an improvement effect in pediatric autoimmune disease such as inflammatory bowel disease, hip arthritis, and asthma due to its immunomodulatory action. In summary, turmeric maintains a healthy immunity through its anti-inflammatory action by suppressing excessive immune response. The first is blueberry. 1. In 25 normal people, after consuming 250 grams per day for 6 weeks, the number of NK cells increased and inflammation also improved. 2. In patients with metabolic syndrome, after consuming 45 grams of blueberry powder per day for 6 weeks, bone marrow dendritic cells increased and inflammation also improved due to the immune regulating effect. 3. In 25 adults who did not exercise, after consuming 250 grams per day for 6 weeks, the number of NK cells increased and arterial stiffness also improved. In summary, blueberry are food that enhance reduced immunity and has an immune regulating effect suppress excessive immune response. Finally, yogurt. 1. When healthy adults consume it every day for about 8 weeks, NK cell and T immune cell increase, macropause activity increase, and the level of interferon gamma secreted by NK cell increase. 2. After 4 weeks of consumption in 20 overweight women, an immunomodulatory effect appears. And 3. After 6 weeks of consumption in 136 students with academic stress, the number of lymphocytes in the blood increased. 4. Long-term consumption for a year in adults and elderly, allergy indicators decrease, and an immunomodulated effect occurs. And 5. When elderly patients in nursing home consumed it for 12 weeks, the level of immunoglobulin A in their saliva increased. In summary, yogurt, 
like blueberry, is a food enhanced reduced immunity and has an immunomodulatory effect that suppresses excessive immune response. Among the five best habits and five foods maintain a healthy immune system we started today, the most important one, excluding sleep, is exercise. Hundreds of good changes occur when you exercise. Your cardiovascular, musculoskeletal, and nervous system function improve. The length of telomeres, which are important for healthy longevity, is better maintained. Senescent cells accumulated in the body are removed quickly, stem cells are activated, and the number of functions of mitochondria in the cell increase. Chronic inflammation in the body is reduced, and the regeneration of collagen tissue also improved. Is it too late to start exercising? You haven't done because you are too old? Of course not. You missed the best time to start, but the second best time is now. Even if you start exercising for the first time at age 90, your muscle strength will double in about two months and your gait will also change. In the next second lecture, we'll study about the world's best five herbs proven to strengthen immunity. In addition to the sleep, food, exercise, meditation, sufficient water intake, and five superfoods we talk about today, if you choose the five herbs that are right for you and use them as tea, your immunity will really improve. See you next time.